Hi PUC, my name is James Cheney. I graduated from Pacific Union College in 2006 with a Bachelor of Business Administration and an emphasis in accounting. I am the accounting director for our eight Northern California hospitals here at Adventist Health. I'm sitting on the third floor of our Roseville headquarters office. Uh, nobody's here. We've been working remote for almost a year. So uh, I have the place to myself to record this, this short video for you. What's the favorite part of your job? I can honestly say it's working with our team. We have a team of about 35 accountants and we have a lot of fun together. We support each other. Uh, we work together well as a team. And that's one of the favorite things that I enjoy about my job. What's the least favorite part of your job? You know, there's just some mundane uh, things that need to get done that are important and required, but aren't a lot of fun. Things like environmental fee returns, um, unrelated business income tax returns, and other regulatory returns like that that really are required but don't have a lot of value from an employer standpoint. And so uh, th those, are, those are things that um, I don't enjoy doing. <laughs> what does it take to be successful in your job? Uh, for me, I'm, I'm in a position where I'm able to hire and hiring the right people is key. Um, when you hire the right team and you get the right team in place, you are able to um, do great things. You know, when you trust one another and you lift each other up and even hold each other accountable at times, um, that just builds a really strong team. And sometimes I feel like a general manager of a, of a basketball team and I'm trying to find all the right pieces. I need a role player here, but I've got a star here. And how do I make all those pieces come together? And that, that's kind of a fun part of my, my job that I enjoy. What is a typical morning like in your job? Uh, great question. Mornings I block out uh, for really important things. Um, I tend to structure important meetings in the morning. I also carve out time, specific quiet time to focus on um, very important projects. Oftentimes I'll look at a project and see when it's due and chop it up into pieces and kind of tackle a piece a day or a piece a week until I can fully see that, that project through to completion. So I try to reserve my most efficient time and, and my most productive time for the morning. And then related, what is a typical afternoon like? Um, I generally try to leave my afternoons open, again, for more project type work, but I also know that things come up during the day, requests for information, uh, meetings, impromptu, ad hoc requests, things like that. So having the things I need to get done in the morning allows me to be able to um, deal with some of those things that come up and structure those so I deal with them in the afternoon. Let's see, the next question here is, what is something you do in your job that people are surprised you do? Well, there's two things. One, um, you may have heard this term, but uh, RPAs, Robotic Process Automation. Uh, you may have more familiar heard the word bots or um, machine learning. We're just on the tip, just with the tip of the iceberg on, on doing some of these things here in accounting. Um, there's a lot of mundane tasks we have to do for, let's say, bank reconciliations, for example. We've got to download a bank statement from a bank account, download it into a folder, and then upload it into our reconciliation software. Um, that just takes time away from our accounting team to do more important work. And so we've developed some, um, uh, some um, robotic process automation through a software that we have that um, will actually write some scripts that will do that for us. So it takes some of the, the kind of mundane, repetitive tasks off our team and allows them to focus elsewhere. The other thing I do uh, that may surprise people, um, you may recall in 2018, the campfire that destroyed uh, most of Paradise, California. We had a hospital there, Feather River, um, Feather River Hospital, and it was about 50% destroyed. And so for the last two, now going on three years, um, I've been working with our insurance claim and our, and our PG&E lawsuit um, extensively on, on that, uh, that particular project. So that's kind of an interesting thing that I've enjoyed that's exposed me to a lot of different areas, but so, sort of surprises people sometimes when you think about um, accounting doing some of that work. Did you have any mentors? If so, who were they and how did you find them? Yeah, I, uh, I've had several mentors throughout my career. One that I um, think back on that was very um, helpful to me is a retired CFO of Adventist Health. His name is Doug Reebok. 
And Doug was a very personable individual who took an interest in um, people like me earlier in their careers and, and, and many, many others throughout our organization. And you know, would spend time outside of work um, talking with you about career goals and how you might think of you know, different roles and how you balance work and life and all those things. And I can say that those have been very important conversations for me that have shaped um, where, where I am at today, as well as um, roles that I have steered clear of. And um, those have been very helpful conversations. And just to have um, somebody who's been through this before share with you their experience has been very valuable. How did you end up in your current job? Yeah, I did an internship um, right between my junior and senior year at PUC. And I did an internship at Adventist Health Tillamook up in Oregon. And that experience um, gave me a foot in the door to Adventist Health and I was hired the next summer as an internal auditor. And I've been with the organization for 15 years since. What's something that you wish you took more classes in during college that could help you now? I would say, I wish I would have taken some more upper level math classes. Uh, wouldn't have necessarily helped me in my current role, but would have, I think, challenged me and given me um, some higher level thinking when it comes to uh, mathematical concepts. And um, that's something I, I wish I would have, I wish I would have taken more classes of at PUC. In college, did you think you'd be at your job you have now? I can say yes and no. I didn't know that specifically I would be, um, in charge of accounting for eight hospitals with with a team um, but i did have a goal to uh, be in a finance leadership position at adventist health and um, i've been able to do that I've, I've spent time here in roseville early on in my career and then i've worked at two of our hospitals um, in finance leadership roles and and now back here in roseville um, i've never actually um, uh, sought out specific roles and jobs, but um, when you focus on doing a good job in the role you're, you're in, um, sometimes those jobs will, will make themselves and those opportunities will make themselves available to you. What advice can you give your college self from your current self? Um, this one's really important for me. I, <clears throat> I would really say um, be honest with yourself about who you are and what your talents and skills are and, and what you want to do. Um, I can say that there have been times in my life um, and, and career paths that have presented themselves to me um, that I have wanted and, and from an a intellectual standpoint said, yeah, you know, I really want to be a CFO at a, at a hospital. Um, and that still may, may happen down the road. But, um, you know, if you listen to yourself and, and what, what is important to you, um, when when you do that and you you align you align what you um, know you're good at and what and who you really are, um, that job becomes a lot less stressful because you don't have kind of internal conflict and things like that. Um, in my case, I uh, had been on a career path to becoming a CFO at a hospital, and when I had the opportunity to do so, um, was the same time we were starting a young family and having our, our first child and. Um, I really wanted to be dad and I really wanted to have time at home with my kids and my wife and create a good family and um, and uh, made a purposeful decision to kind of get off that that track of becoming a CFO and um, and do something a little bit different that allowed allowed um, some more more work-life balance and um, that that decision has been very key in in my life and my family's life and something I've never regretted at this point so um, just encourage you to be honest with yourself and who you are. Is there a mantra or scripture that has had an impact on your career? Yeah, there, there's one in particular I can think of. Um, it comes from Martin Luther King, and I've thought about this periodically throughout, throughout my career. And it goes like this. It says, if you can walk, walk. Uh, I'm sorry, let me start over. If you can crawl, crawl. If you can walk, walk. If you can run, run. But whatever you do, keep moving forward. And that is so true no matter what it is in your personal life, in your, um, in your, in your work life, in your community, um, dealing with social issues or a variety of other things. Um, keep moving forward. Make progress. Sometimes it's going to be slow. Sometimes it's going to be fast. It can go different paces and it's different for everybody. 
But if you keep moving forward, um, that, that's really key. Last question, what is the coolest thing about your current job? Um, I really enjoy helping mentor other people that are young in their career. Um, we've got a lot of recent graduates, graduates in their career, and one of the most satisfying things for me is working with those individuals to understand what are their career goals, what do they want to do, what kinds of jobs, and sharing with them my experiences. And um, you know, I hope I hope that has an impact on people, and um, and I hope to be able to support them and their goals and, and where they want to go. Uh, but it's a really rewarding and satisfying, and I'd say coolest part of, of the job that I do. Well, thank you for your time, PUC. I appreciate the opportunity to share a little bit about myself and what I do, and, and hopefully that's, that's helpful. Have a great day. Thanks.